guys hey, sorry you know today we are back playing some more Elden Ring um, after doing some research this is uh, connected to a quest line that we're not doing um, it has something to do with Sorcerer Selen uh, who we have met but that is not something that we uh, can do right now but it doesn't matter we should not be locked away from the boss we can still do the boss of this uh, of this tunnel uh, I'm gonna be honest I like I saw somebody like progress through to get to the boss but like i retained none of that information so i'm just going to keep walking around until i find uh something new i do think we need to go back up top and just see if we can find like a different direction to go um this is a pretty wide open cave area um so we're gonna do that i also looked up uh how to get to the abandoned cave so that is something that i'll have to do uh, you do have to go up top and, and like drop down and stuff so it, it, you know it is definitely very uh very uh difficult to get to like it's hard to find on your own i would i would think but now that i kind of know uh where to go it should be okay so hopefully we can get to the end of this cave beat that and then we can uh do that which it might just be over this way yeah yeah it might be over this way yeah, there's a there's a stake America here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is this is the way that we want to go. Perfect, perfect. So I didn't I didn't I don't know how much is left. I know there's one big room here, and then I don't know if the boss is at the bottom of this or if there's more. So we're gonna do this carefully because I uh, I didn't really look ahead to see exactly what sort of enemies or anything is here because I did not want to get spoiled. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I probably don't need my torch out. Oh, ow! I can still do damage even after the the snail is gone. Oh my gosh. I was like, let me hurt you. Please. Uh, I really need to be more careful about the, the ice on the ground ground hitting me. Uh, and then there's another boss I'm going to try to unlock. Um, but I don't... I, I, I'm not super confident that I can. But uh, I do have another idea of of a place that we can go to as well. Uh, ooh, Crystal Dart. I wonder, I wonder if that's going to be helpful for the boss that we're about to, to take on. I think it's worth trying. Uh, turn back, treasure chest ahead. Why would I turn back if there's a treasure chest ahead? Oh. I, like, I just hear noises. I'm just trying to focus on, like, the, what the noises are. I target lock. Oh. There's something up top. There you go. Yeah, drop. Go ahead, drop down. I'm not scared of you. And then there is indeed a boss right here. Let's go. Hey, not you. There we go. All right, now we can take on this boss. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and wondrous physic my way. And I'm, I'm going to see if maybe these crystal darts are, uh, are going to be helpful. Because there's more uh, crystallions. I'm going to assume that maybe it's not helping. No, I think I think it would have uh it would have helped by now. Oh no. Scarlet Rot. Help. Okay, there. We cured the Scarlet Rot. I did not cure the Scarlet Rot yet. Stop. No! Come on, come on, heal, heal, heal. Let's go, let's go. Oh, come on, I didn't do the Cerulean thing? Oh, right, I had to cast the spell. Oh, come on. There we go. All I'm trying to do is summon Lutel. All right, that was such a, I, like, I was, all I was trying to do was see if I could use the, the Crystal Darts, and I was not able to. Oh, right, I need to get my actual weapon back. That's a really cool attack. That, like, spinning wheel thingy. Oh, nice backstab. Oh, I couldn't do the, the the golden thingy. What a waste. Oh, now I got Scarlet Rod again. Oh, and I'm out of Cerulean. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. And that was, like, so unnecessary. 
I don't have a way to cure my Scarlet Rot because of the way that I use my Cerulean Flasks. That sucks. Nope. There we go. Got rid of one. Maybe I can still win if I just do damage fast enough. But I have to kind of break the, the crystal defenses, I think. Backstab. There we go. Oh, get wrecked. You nerd. Spell the Rod is not hurting me nearly as much as I feel like it should be. Which, like, I guess I'm not complaining about, but, uh, just an observation I'm making. Lutel, what are you doing? Could, what the heck is this thing's attack? Ow. Heal one more time. There we go. Should break your defenses, and now I should be able to kill them really quick. Okay, I actually somehow am making out of this alive, despite the fact that I just have Scarlet Rot that I'm not curing at all. Okay, you're gonna do your, like, 6 hit combo. I don't know why Lutel is taking forever to kill you. There you go. Look, Lutel, it's that easy. And there we go. Oh, there we go. We take those. Crystal Torrent. Alright, I don't really have enough time to uh, <laughs> to mess around with this. I need to I need to get close to a side of grace. Alright, we did everything in this game that we're going to do. Uh, I, behind that, like, one sealed door, I guess, is an NPC that... Uh, if we were doing the quest line, it would be available to us, but we're not doing that quest line, so um, I'm just not going to worry about it. So I think after I return to entrance, I should actually be able to teleport to the next place that I want to go to, uh, which is going to be... Come on. Let me get to the map. I don't even know exactly where this is taking me. Probably going to be outside the entrance to the cave. Yeah. Uh, I want to go into here. There's, uh, I guess, a boss in, in like, the, the, in the town of Celia that I don't know if I have available to me or not. Um, uh, that was another one where I kind of saw it. It was just like, oh, you have to light two things to, to unlock it. And it's just like, I don't know if that's the same things that we use to, to, to light the, the thing of the town or if it's separate. So we are going to find out and see if this is something that we can do or not. All right, but we've healed our Scarlet Rot. Uh, we don't need to worry about about that. I believe it'd be this way. Uh, maybe go up. I don't really know. That's that's the, the Swamp of Ionia. I want to be in the city. There we go. Sell you the Town of Sorcery. Ow. Probably hurts you more than it hurt me. Uh, is it this way? It might be more this way. I think it's towards the back of the of the town. Oh, oh! I didn't even realize that you were right here. Ow! Stop! No! Okay, there we go. I was like, if I can see wherever this, if I can find wherever this boss is. Um, or at least where it should be. I think it's right in here. Is it blocked or is it available to me? Let's take America. Wait. No, 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 no. This is the start of- this is the entrance to the town. No, this isn't it. But it is in, like, a barrier like this. So it might be closer to the other side of town, like, directly across. Ow. Yeah, let's just go, like, straight across- see oh is it up there maybe or is it down here it's down here this is what we're looking for all right so after you i guess it was a barrier protecting this um and now it was not so i probably should have used my my wondrous physic there but that's fine uh there's a boss here we have nox swordstress and knock knox monk Oh, uh, uh, 
I think we're gonna be fine. I should have counterattacked. Ooh! Okay, okay. I mean, I can still just jump attack you. Ooh! One more jump attack should be the end of you. And now it's a 1v1. Ooh. Okay, okay. You also, yeah, you also take a bunch of damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if I'm just really overleveled or if this is supposed to be an easy fight, but uh, I kind of destroy these things, these guys. All right, well, that was a fight. <laughs> well then, Nox Flowing Sword. Very cool, 6,400. So yeah, probably not like the toughest boss in the world based on the on the rune um, reward. What kind of sword is that? It, uh, it's a dex weapon. It's just like a little sword. Oh, it's just like that. Interesting. It's just like one of those. Uh, it's a little thinner than I expected. Uh, let me get my, my Howard back. We'll go ahead and... I guess we'll rescue at the side of Grace and then... See what is behind. It looks like there's a there's a chest there. Okay, okay. We're not quite at the level we can... Uh, uh, level up with the with the amount of runes that we have right here. All right, what's our reward? Uh, glintstone staff. All right, sure. You know that that we'll definitely be using that. <laughs> uh, you need fifty-two intelligence, so yeah, just a nice and clean forty-two more levels, and we'll be right on it. Okay, so we've cleared out this stuff here that we can that we can do, and I think the only thing left is this uh, abandoned cave. So, I actually do want to come to the Smoldering Wall, and then I'm going to have to drop down somewhere. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Um, again, I kind of watched somebody do it, but, like, that information does not really sink in uh, to my brain. I'm not really good at retaining information without, like, doing it. If I do something, I'm, like, 2,000 times more likely to remember something. If I just watch somebody do it, even if I am paying attention, I'm, like... I'm so much less likely to actually retain any of that information. Uh, there are a lot of dogs and stuff around. I mean, I'm not really scared of any dogs. So, I mean, who cares? But, like, still, it'd be nice if I could just sort of go exploring without having to worry about that. Did the person I watched go on this side of the of the fence? I don't really remember. I think maybe they did. All right, let's let's start doing some scouting uh, along the side here for accidentally dropping and, and dying. Uh, where could we drop to? I don't think we want to drop the way there. What is that? Oh, that's that's that deep Syophora well. Okay, right. So that's not where we want to go, per se. I think maybe there is where we want to go. So let's see if we can find a nice way down there. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's go around, make sure that we definitely can, can fall down. Not aggro the dog. If the dog pushes me off the side of the cliff, I'd be livid. There, oh, I think we can see the, the cave right there. Interesting. So I think the best way to get to it is I see this little tree over here. Uh, oh yeah, can we do it from there? Maybe? No. Yes? I think we can maybe jump from, drop from right here. Ooh, that was kind of scary. I'm going to get on my horse. We're going to take it slow and steady. And then once we get to this part, I think I just want to double jump over. There we go. Yes. All right. We found the abandoned cave. Let's go. All right. Nice, nice, nice. We are doing so good in terms of making progress and cleaning up all of this Kaled stuff. Let's go. Uh, I don't know how I feel about everything just being a drop here. Oh, boy. Is there safe ground anywhere? Does not look like it. And I don't think I can bring out my horse. All right. Well, let's get to it.
There. I'm 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 out. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to like deal with the Scarlet Rod. I don't really know what else to do here. And I dude, I'm moving so slow. Then I have to heal. Oh my gosh, can I like run or anything? I yeah, I can. I can. Oh no. Oh! How did I survive that? That's crazy. Alright, run. Oh, I can't run when I'm in that. Okay, there we go, there we go. I'm on solid ground. I probably made that way harder than it had to be, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> I really hope that's not part of a boss run. Hopefully there's a Stake America between that and uh, wherever the boss is. Uh, oh boy. Welp, there's more. Okay, there's an item there. Dude, every, just being here increases my Scarlet Rot? What the heck? What kind of sense does that make? Well, who's gonna die to Scarlet Rot anywhere? Oh, come on. I'm gonna die. And I'm poisoned. Okay, now I'm down here. Am I still dealing with Scarlet Rot? No. What is... What is this place? I am not a fan. Oh, shoot. I was like, I need a, an actual weapon. There, take that. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. Oh, I actually kind of need this out. I can't really see you if, the, if my torch is, uh, is away. Take that. Oof. I am going to be out of healing by the time I reach any sort of boss. There better be a Stake America. Oh my goodness. If only I had a healing, honestly. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Fire Grease, very nice, very nice. I should maybe use some Grease on uh, some of these bosses. Alright, some more Scarlet Rock ground. At least this ground isn't erupting. No! Oh, come on. Everything about this cave is awful. Why did I want to come here? Come on, dude. Is this back where I came from, or is this is this going further ahead? I, I'm, like, this is... There we go. There's a, there's a boss. Is there a Stake America it's anywhere close? If I have to go through all that again, I am going to literally cry. Oh, come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Is there any... There's an item over there. Probably not worth getting. I don't know. Let's hope that the boss here is, like, really easy. I'm gonna have to do it with no healing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop a Wanderer's Physic before going in. Uh, I'm going to pop this so I can summon Lutel and then we're just going to go for it. Heenrot Knight. I would say I'd like to put up my shield. Okay. Feel pretty good about being able to... Oh, there's more than one. I'm 100% going to succumb to Scarlet Rot, though. Okay, one's dead. My Scarlet Rot is not going up. Which is good. Can I go ahead and get to the middle here? There we go. Whoa. Can I get a backstab? There we go. Alright, we did it, we did it. Oh, this place is terrible. Get me out of here. There's no way. Oh, a gold scarab. What is that? Is that, uh... Is that, like, one of these? Uh, it might just be a... No, it is. Increases room to obtain from defeated enemies. Oh, that's actually really good. That's really good for grinding. Um, and if I feel like I don't need one of these, which 
I mean, honestly, I could go for lower stamina to get more runes. Um, that's that's not bad at all. Okay. Solid. Um, yeah, there's no way that that item on the other side of the room is so worth getting that it's worth risking my life for. I know I'm going towards it. It's just like, I should I try? I killed the poison dudes. Looks like maybe I should try. Oh, wait. How did I get up here? Here. Okay. Think. I just brave through it. Come over here. Jump up here. Come on, jump up here. There we go. Boom. Venomous Fang. Heal myself there. Or heal my Scarlet Rot. Okay. Go back on the other side of the room. I'm not going to fight them. I didn't even, like, register or whatever it is that I just picked up. Get up here. And then I can teleport out of here. And we never need to do this. <laughs> uh, next order of business is probably to go to the Bell Bearing Hunter at the Church of Vows. That Wow, you can attack the Holy in here? That's crazy. Uh, so that way... Because I, I, I was going to do that the one time and then I forgot. So that's going to be the next order of business. And then I think after that it might be time to go back to making progress... I think I have cleaned up every Kaled boss in the lower Kaled area. Um, there's some stuff up in Dragon Barrow that I didn't really look at, um, but I just know that there's stuff up there because obviously I haven't been up there. So I don't know that I'm ready to go there yet. I definitely could. I'm just so worried about that that one time that I actually like, went in Dragon Barrow and then there was normal enemies that took like five hits to kill. I'm just so worried that like I still might not be ready for that area. What... It's, it's kind of hard to know. You know what I mean? But, I mean, it's it's up there at, at any time that I want to. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's it, it's an option. It, it is an option. But, uh, let's go back to the Church of Vows um, up here. There's there's basically no reason that we shouldn't be able to, to beat this Bell-Bearing Hunter now. Uh, we've leveled up quite a bit. And I I think that we should be able to take care of business pretty easily. Um, should I risk my runes or not? Because, like, I have, like, 31,000. I think if I consume some, I should be able to level up right now. Although, if I be the Bell-Bearing Hunter, I should probably be able to level up. And I should, theoretically, not ever have to worry about my runes uh, being, like, impossible to get. Because if I die... I have to like rest here to reset the bell bearing hunter so i'm i'm just gonna fight and hope that that gets me enough runes to level up though it might not i don't think the bell bearing hunter is like considered a a high tier boss by this game standard um even if maybe it should be but we'll see oh yeah i should probably get my uh my thing out wait greetings do you have anything else to to, to talk about a famed sculptor when he glimpsed and uh, uh okay Sorry, I didn't think that you would be here. I was expecting a, a bell bearing hunter. Did I beat the bell bearing hunter and I just forgot? Tell me that's not what actually happened. I feel like I remember rage quitting. Did I not? I don't know. Let's try sleeping till night again and see what happens. Surely I didn't actually beat him. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. oh man I didn't even have my uh my flask ready to go there we go no no come on really I even dodged backwards you jerk oh my gosh I really don't know what I'm supposed to do Take that. Ow. I feel, like, I feel like I'm gonna get attacked from behind by a different enemy. There's no way to like stagger this this man. Oh, you just like knocked me away, okay. Very cool. Ow. 
Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I hate this boss. You can't stagger him for anything. I need to come prepared with a bunch of ranged options. Thankfully, my uh, my runes are right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna come prepared with a bunch of ranged options because like, ugh, like Bellbearing Hunters. The fact that I can't stagger him no matter what is just so awful. Like, you want to try and hit him, and like you always have to take a hit. And like I've been leveling up my vigor like crazy, so it's like it should be fine. And if I was able to get away and heal, I would have been able to win that fight, but I wasn't able to get away. Uh, it just really sucks. Uh, the fact that there's no safe chances to uh, to heal at all. It's uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. All right, so let's see. What what sort of things do I want to have ready to throw? Curse blood. Um. Deadly poison. That could be worth something. We could also be ready to throw. Let's see. Are those bone darts. Bone darts could be good. They they do come out really fast. Uh, I think they might have already been equipped there. Yeah, they were. Uh, if I can't summon Lutel, then I could summon, or I could put on, mm, I don't know that Greases matters that much for this fight, just because I can't ever, like, hit him. Gravitational Explosion, Magic, Build Up a Poison, maybe some Poison Bone Darts, I don't know if that'll be enough Poison. Uh, mixture of poison bow darts and poison pot might do it though. Um, what else would I want to maybe like throw at him? Boost immunity, fire damage, maybe throwing dagger. Uh, let's do more magic stuff. Uh, or inflict fire damage actually. I like that. All right, we got some. We got some things we can throw. We'll try that. So, past time, till night. I, I, I'm i not ending this episode until I beat this stupid thing. I, I hate Bellbearing Hunters. And I just have a feeling this isn't even going to be the last one either. It's going to be so terrible. Alright. Turtle's still there. So, we have to rest again. Go to night. Why this is still a thing, I do not know. I don't know if they expect everyone to be able to beat the Bellbearing Hunter, like, first try, or... I really want to know the game design design decision between behind um, ha having to rest at a at a side of grace like two times, two separate times to actually make it like nightfall like that. That's the golden vow. Okay, one, two, three, four, get away, and I failed. Okay, okay. You want to let me, like, hit you? Ow. Throw a pot. How about throw another one? Oh, no. I knew that was going to hit me. Throw a fatigue pot. Oh, that, that, that throws a poison on me. That's annoying. Oh. I didn't want poison armament there. Oops. I was like, truly, the skeletons are coming out of the ground now. Please don't attack me. Attack him. Okay, okay. I was like, how far can I get him to come out? Explosive stone? Oh. Oh. I should have had my weapon out. Oops. I didn't actually want to be poisoned. Alright, so now I realize that this uh, fatigue pot is, like, awful. Never again. Alright, alright. Well, we got him to come out pretty far, but we need to go back. <laughs> alright. So, let's get this out of the way. Let's, uh... There, I'll, I'll, I'll have a fire pot and an explosive stone and some magic stuff. It'll all be good. He should spawn at the same spot at the same health. Theoretically. I didn't know if that was going to hit. Yeah, there we go. 
Come on! Ah! Uh. Explosive stone? Nice! Magic! Let's gonna keep doing this. Magic! More magic! How about more magic? You want some bone darts? Oh no, oh no. Oh, come on. Ow. Oh, nice, you killed him for me. Let's go. Oh, but he's not going to keep, keep him down for good. There you go. All right, all right. Take that. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, we're running away. We're running away. Yeah, I don't know if he's still coming after me or not. I'll take my chances. All right, I have one more, more healing thing. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's a problem. I did not realize that you'd be right here. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No. Oh, screw off. Bone darts. Magic. Magic. So I know these other skeletons are going to come back and I'm going to hate it. Jump attack! Oh, come on. There we go. All right. I feel like I had to cheese him with my life, but uh, whatever. Got him. Ow. 6,000. Sure, whatever. Meat pedal is bell bearing. Oh, I forgot to give the bell bearing, I think, to the uh, to the round table that one time. That's fine. All right, I can level up. More regular. Level 80. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Well, speaking of bell bearings that we can give to the round table hole, I might as well just do it now before I forget. There, we did it. I bell bearing hunter is maybe that is my least favorite boss. That might be my least favorite boss. Uh, I I had a really rough experience with the Crucible Knight. Crucible Knight is definitely up there as well. But man, bell bearing hunter is consistently awful. I was like, I basically had to resort to cheesing it because like I just couldn't trust that I could ever get a hit off without having to take a hit. And it was uh pretty pretty bad. All right, so I don't have any fire pots. I want to sell this fatigue pot instead of ever actually using it. What? Wait, why am I why am I fighting? What the heck? Ensha of royal remains. What is that? I'm literally just trying to do a counterattack, and like I'm not getting anything that I can like counterattack with. Ow. There, okay. So you're like really weak. I don't know what the point of this is. But you're dead now. Okay. Uh, great enemy? I, I don't know. You weren't so great. Give me like 60 runes? Wh okay. What was that about? I wasn't ready for that at all. Just trying to give some bell bearings to the ladies. Chill it was not that serious. Uh, alright, so anybody want to give me an explanation? Clinging bone. What is that? What is a clinging bone? Is it a... Let's see. Uh, is it a, a key item? I doubt it. Is it a... Uh... Is it any sort of melee weapon? I feel like I... Oh, it is. Okay, it's a fist weapon. 16 arcane to... To wield it. Skills off of dex, arcane, and strength a little bit. Interesting. Lifesteal fist. Oh, okay. That's actually a probably a pretty cool weapon. Oh, here's this venomous, venomous fang. It's a claw weapon that causes poison buildup. Interesting. In yourself or enemies, because now I can't trust that uh, poison buildup doesn't mean on myself. But uh, that could be 
pretty cool. That might be a really easy way to get some poison build up if you're if you're wielding that. All right. Anyway, uh, I don't know what that was about. Wait. 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 Was, this is the this was the edgy guy that was just kind of chilling here, right? Royal remains. Did he die? Okay. Well, I guess we can cosplay as him now if we want to. If only I cared for him even a little bit. <laughs> uh, offer a bell bearing. We got this meat peddler's bell bearing. Sure. And we have the somber miner's bell bearing. So now, uh, I don't really know what all we can get. I get all this meat stuff for whatever that's worth. Level one and two somber smithing stones for whatever that's worth. Probably not worth much. Uh, and I don't think we need any of this stuff. If I'm being honest. And then there's those two. So yeah, I'd, uh, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter that much. So, uh, yeah, it seems like with that, we should have wrapped everything up here. I don't think there's anything else that uh, I need to do, per se in the Lyurnia or Kaled area. I think I have done everything. And next time, I guess we go exploring to new areas. I believe, I believe, I guess I will go up to the Atlas Plateau and kind of see what's along that way. Um, if I want to, I could start doing some of Dragon Barrow. I could maybe try and get the other thing for the Grand Lift so then I could use the Grand Lift of Dectus. So those are options that we have. Uh, but I'm probably just going to do Atlas Plateau and come up this way and then see where that takes us. So I guess that is uh, the plan for now. Hopefully you all have enjoyed the progress that we've been making. And uh, yeah, so that is going to end it here. And I will see you all on the next time. So till then, peace out.